What equipment should you have for your at-home pull-up setup? In this video today, I'm gonna walk through all of my favorite equipment and some of my favorite parts about it. So important to feel like you are sturdy on a bar, especially if it's hanging from your door frame, so that you can feel confident and comfortable while learning to get your pull-up. My name is Angela Organo. I'm a four-time American Ninja Warrior and also a pull-up expert. I've literally helped over 500 women get their first pull up. So I've been through all sorts of equipment and I know it's going to work for you. If you like this video, make sure that you like and subscribe and let's get into it. So this is my favorite door frame bar that I've gotten so far. What I love about it is it's super sturdy. It's so easy to set up. All you have to do is literally open it up and hook it underneath the frame here. And if you don't have a really thick framing at your house for, for a door frame, this still works really well and it's able to feel really secure. It's super secure on here. You can even use this lower bar if you want to and the higher bar as well. Um, and yeah, I like that it has like some of this gripping thing on here, but it doesn't make it like too, sometimes you get them and they're like too mushy. These ones aren't too mushy and they feel pretty good. So um, really sturdy, great pull-up bar, allows you to really have the form with the pull-up. It does mark up the door a little bit on here, but nothing too crazy. Um, but yeah, this is called an Amaze Fan Bar and I put the link down below if you want to try it out. Let's say for some reason every single door frame in your house is just not, not fitting a pull-up bar. I have got this stand-up pull-up bar before and it was amazing quality, super easy to set up. The only thing I suggest is that you do just get some matting from underneath of it. Um, but super easy to set up and it was very, very sturdy. I never felt like it was gonna fall over. If you ever feel like you're a little nervous about it, you can always put something heavier on the bottom of it, like get some sandbags and put them on the bottom and that can help. Next up along your journey, you're gonna want pull-up bands. Yes, um, I'll, I try and get my clients to work off the band as much as possible, but you wanna make sure that you have a different, a different, uh, a whole set of them, right? So there's different resistances here. There's actually four in this pack that I always tell my clients to get. I don't know where the other band is right now, but there's only four in this pack. And what's great about it is it can help you along your journey as you're getting stronger with your pull-up. You can also use this thinner band for shoulder warm exercises or banded lap pull down. So it's really great to have a variety pack of these. So again, I put these links down below, but this, these are my favorite ones. They're super sturdy. I've literally had never had any problems with these ones at all. These are called the Avani. I think I'm saying it right, Avani. <laughs> Last but not least, I don't have it right here with me, but you're gonna want something called liquid chalk. So liquid chalk is Base, it's, called, it's actually called magnesium carbonate. I was a scientist back in the day. Um, and it's going to actually help you, especially as you're learning your pull-up, your hands are gonna start to hurt at first and it's gonna get super annoying and you'll be like, oh, my hands hurt. So putting the chalk on it is not only gonna help you to grip onto it, especially when you're super sweaty, but it's also gonna help with a little bit of that pain um, as you're going through the, uh, learning your pull-up. I like getting these little little ones right here that I have a picture of. They just like, you can just link it right onto your gym bag if you're going to the gym. Um, and I feel like I never have to lose it. You don't have to use a lot of it though. Just do a little dab of it and that will be enough for you for your, for your chalk. So again, I suggest for your at home pull up equipment, having a nice sturdy bar. This one's my favorite. You can always do a stand up bar, having a nice set of multiple size pull up bands, and then also grabbing some liquid chalk. Hope this was helpful for you. If you have any questions at all, let me know. And if you wanna join in, I have award-winning pull-up programs that you can join in to have a full blueprint on how you can actually get your pull-up. If you have any other questions or anything that you're trying to work towards, make sure you comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all later.